Hey guys, hope everybody's keeping well. Um, welcome to the next competition analysis that I, I'm doing for you guys. Um, if you are wanting to send uh, send over some footage, you can do that on WeTransfer. That's where how these guys um, are sending their stuff over, so please do that. Uh, so we're going to be looking at this player here for, for this match. So let's get started. Okay. So, set your stall out, get your hands on. Where do you want to be gripping? Good start, lost your grip, and then we attacked. Now, when, when we're attacking, what we need to think about is, are we attacking because it's the right thing to do, or are we attacking because we feel like we should do something? So, um, in that exchange, you had your right hand on, on the collar, uh, right hand on the collar, which was good, so let's go back. Right hand on the collar, he had hold of the sleeve, and you're in a good position, okay? Squared your stance, you're on the edge. Now, as we move it on, your opponent takes your sleeve down there so now you've not got your grip they've taken your sleeve down you can't get rid of that sleeve and then and then we're attacking for for the drop there's no real need treat that first 30 seconds that a minute as a way of setting your stall fight hard for your grips fight hard from the beginning to stay in your stance keep your hands on because what you're doing is just alleviating that pressure from them Okay, he's felt your first technique. He knows you want to do drops, okay, or COs. So if he can pin that sleeve, he's got a good chance of stopping it. So once again, we need to get your hands on. We need to get that right hand on and cause some control, or at least keep some control, I should say. And because it's he's got his good grip, he's able to put that pressure on. Okay, squaring up, pushing, pushing. And there, so even there, I know it's behind the referee. So let's go again. You're pushing, you're squaring up. He's walking backwards. There's no real reaction for him to come forwards. So we're, we're doing a drop, but that's actually a nice little turn in there. Water. Think about when you're trying to attack. What are you trying to do? How are you creating your reactions? Because there's been two techniques now where you've gone to the floor where you've not really disrupted the balance, which means if that's the case, the referee, if they're not going to penalise them for not attacking, they're going to penalise you for false attacking. So you've got to keep that in mind where, when you're in a competition. Are, is the other person being penalised for not attacking? If not, they're thinking that you're doing false attacks. So staying on your feet is always a good option. So here we go. Right. Okay. Left hand on. Got the sleeve control now. That's good. Sleeve down. Keep that. Now this is it. That's good. That's what we're looking for. Good sleeve control. Good hand over the top. And look at their posture now. All you need to do in this point is either start to push or start to pull. And that will exaggerate this posture. Okay, which is exactly what you want. You can now start creating reactions. You can move your feet. You don't need to be trying to throw at this point. You just need to get them moving. That's a good. <laughs> and you've just got penalised for keeping this at that. Yeah, well, these things happen. But I, I would be on that all the time. Exactly. Good. Standing left. Okay. Now with that, just no need to do that attack. You've got some control. You're in stance. Put some pressure on, move this lapel hand, get him starting to react. If he stood still, he can feel you, he can, re he can react to you quite easily. There. And now, if this person were, wanted to be engaged in they was, they would have been straight on top and had the advantage. Good grip again, yeah, on the sleeve, hands over, pull, create that reaction. There. Okay, let's take this back a tiny bit. So, let's, starting off good, hands on, there. Now, 
we're starting to drift. We're starting to walk through our stance. Rather than keeping to our stance, we're starting to walk. And as soon as we walk, there. Now you're walking back. You're not in stance. Your leg, look, it's not on the floor. So actually, as soon as he comes in attack, you're always going to find this difficult. There. And that's it. And that just comes from keeping your stance, keeping your posture, not walking around the mat. It happens all the time. I see people just walking with their partner rather than deciding on the direction you need to go, deciding on where you're going to apply the pressure. Okay, so that's really important. Make sure you're not just walking. Set your stance, set your structure, fight from there. Where are we at now? So now you're fighting left because you're posting that left hand on for your coi they're capturing your sleeve and you're having to fight on your weaker side you need to post with your right get that right hand on get that sleeve down because that's where you gain the most control it becomes really predictable now because he knows he can control the drop he knows that he's got that so that's what you've got to think about get that control back to you catch the sleeve control force the pressure from there so sleeve caught again. Now right there. There's only one attack you could be doing, or two attacks, COI and Coach Gak. Okay. And now instead of him worried about how many different techniques are you going to do, what are your techniques, he can narrow it down to two. So you're just making it so much easier for your partner. And good no are there on top trying to work. So at this point, you need to be back. You need to be back on your spot, ready to put that pressure on. And that's it. When somebody's up a score, don't forget they're starting to think, oh, I best keep hold, I best keep hold of this score. So you need to get that pressure on. You need to get your hands on. You need to force the reactions. Yeah, and that's it. That's the key. When you're down, you must keep pressure. Pressure comes from staying on your feet, not from going to the floor. As I say, there's quite a few things there that you can do that will make such a big difference in your in your competition practice. Don't start with your COIs. If you like seeing Aggie, leave it. Wait until you've built some control in the fight. Get your hands on. Control that distance. Then, once your partner feels, your opponent feels the pressure, that's when you add it. That's when you add your COIs. And try and do it from grips that you have rather than posting with your left all the time. If you do that, you must make sure the partner's moving on to you. Okay, if they're moving on to you, far more successful. Okay, but good effort with that. Thanks for sending it through. Hope you found it useful. And uh, yeah, good luck.